No one's scheduled to take the rover. Out of the vehicle. We need to make a run. All supply runs go through me. And shouldn't you be working on the patch of Sector 5? A patch. For a ship that can only save a hundred people? Why are you surprised? I am an engineer. We have no way to generate water. The harder number is 400. Can you really sentence 400 more of our own people to death? We don't have a choice. What if you do? What if I told you there might be a fallout shelter less than a day's drive from here? A fallout shelter built to sustain thousands. We've been through the Chancellor's files. All of the bunkers you consider for the hundred were listed as compromised or unviable. And now Mount Weather is two. Those were government bunkers. A doomsday cult? That's right. The second dawn. They built a bunker. Their whole theology was based on writing out the end of the world. Why didn't you consider it? We couldn't prove it existed. So why are you considering it now? Because before now, we didn't need it. You found it, didn't you? We can't be sure unless we check it out. No. No way. We need that rover for hauling pieces of a 310 patch. We're yeah, but if he's right, we don't need a patch. Can I talk to you guys for a second? Can you please remind Clark what happened the last time Jaha went looking for salvation? Raven, if that bunker is real, we can save a lot more than a hundred people. And if it's not, we've lost another day. Hey, look, if it's not, I'll make the list. Okay? <sighs> Do what you want. I've got a ship to seal. The end is coming. Hear me as I say it this time. The end is coming. And it's coming soon. You gave this speech two weeks before the bombs. The world is dark and getting darker all the time. Everything we once trusted has turned on us. Government, religion, even technology has become a weapon in their hands, used to poison our minds. I know you're in pain. I know you're afraid. But it doesn't have to be like this. There is a way out of the darkness. I can show it to you. You can be saved. Join me. Join us. And together, when the horsemen come, from the ashes, we will rise. Please tell me you have more than this. In the two years before the bombs, Gallagher sold off most of the Second Dawn's real estate holdings, generating tens of millions of dollars. But there was one thing he didn't sell. I found this in his autobiography. It's his childhood home. His father built a bunker there to save his family. I think Gattigan used the church's money to expand it. Grew up there. Maybe he kept it for sentimental value. <clears throat> His father beat him almost daily in that house. He hated living there. Why keep it if you're liquidating everything else? Because that bunker is there. I can feel it. Guy sounds like a religious fanatic to me. Maybe. Or maybe he was just a leader willing to do whatever it took to save his people. Don't pick up the phone, you know he's only calling cause he's drunk and alone Two, don't let him in, you have to kick him out again Three, don't be his friend, you know you're gonna wake up in his bed in the morning And if you're under him, you ain't getting over him I got no room